Hello YouTube, this is the South Sea 5. I'm here to talk about sunglasses. It's not really the right weather for sunglasses, but I felt motivated to do this video right now, so here I am. Um, these are Maui Gen Onshore. Um, and I got these in Maui. They have kind of a blue sapphire lens. I don't know what the um, temples or the frame is made out of. Uh, it kind of has a wood grain look to it. There was the shield. I think they look amazing. And something that I really appreciate about these is that with my Costa de Mars, my first pair, well, probably my second pair of very good sunglasses, or very well-made sunglasses, is that these have um, these temples that are made out of rubber and they degrade. And you might be able to see right there how um, the rubber is degrading. And um, it's just, if you leave them in a lot of heat, they will melt and um, you, you can see where it's kind of peeling off. So I really liked these Costa de Mar, uh Galvestons. That's part of the reason why I got them is because of the Galveston model. And I uh, traveled to Galveston quite a bit, so I thought it was appropriate. Uh, and these were really good, but now they're my Beetle sunglasses. Um, my very expensive pair of Beetle sunglasses along with my Oakleys. But these I got in Maui, and um, I think they look great. And uh, something pretty cool about these is that very heartbreakingly so, <laughs> uh, within a, um, uh, what you call it, probably about a month of having them, I was wearing them at the coast uh, in Galveston County. Uh, um, and I had them on my uh, bed and I forgot about them and I sat on them and I was crushed. I mean, I was just, it was just sickening that I, I paid this money for these sunglasses and not only is it these expensive sunglasses, but it was to commemorate a, a very big trip to go into Maui and I sat on them and they were kind of, I don't want to bend them uh, any more than I uh, have to, but they were kind of off kilter. Uh, they were noticeably bent and uh, I was crushed and I was like, well, you know, as you know, with most sunglass companies, uh, they only warranty uh, defects of, uh, from the factory. So they don't actually warranty much at all. So I was like, well, they're already broken. What's the worst that can happen? I bent them back and they're all true and they look good. So not only are these are relatively robust, you know, I weigh over 230, 40 pounds. Um, I can't remember how much I weighed at that time. My weight fluctuates. Um, and plus my home scale isn't as accurate as my doctor's scale. But I'm gonna say anywhere from like um, 228 to 238, um, somewhere between that time um, weight, I sat on them and they were noticeably bent and I was able to bend them back and they look good now. Uh, these are, um, uh, polarized, which I really like. Uh, I uh, spend a decent amount of time at the beach. I don't live at the beach, but I'm almost a local. Um, some of the people there recognize me um, when I go over there. So I'm, I spend a good bit of time there fishing, crabbing. Uh, I don't kayak as much as I used to, but I spend a lot of time at the beach. I like polarized sunglasses. If I'm going to spend the money on sunglasses, I want them to be polarized. Are they necessary for most people? No, but because I live the salt life, I guess you can say, um, I want polarized sunglasses. They came with this Maui Gen hard case. And um, I like those. So I usually um, keep them in this case. And I keep my uh, Oakleys in the Costa de Mar case because... Um, you know, those are my two aesthetically best looking sunglasses I have. And these I just keep, um, you know, out, you know, in, in without a case. Uh, the Maui Gens also came with a, a microfiber, uh, microfiber um, carrying case, which I don't have with me. And I use those uh, with just plain water to uh, wash the lenses. So I could probably get a better microfiber um rag to do a better job 
to uh, wear to uh, clean these. When you go to the beach, you're getting splashed with water. There's the salty air. Um, these things will um, get smudged, and so they do need to be cleaned when you get back from the coast. Or if you if you live the coast, you're obviously going to have to clean them on a pretty regular basis if you're doing any kind of real activity. But here they are. I think they look good. I love the shield. I love kind of the wood grain on them. Uh, I like blue or azul if you speak Spanish. And I like the fact that the temples don't have rubber on them. Um, just to get you a better look of the inside of the temples. And then there's the wood grain in the shield. So I think these are amazing. I would definitely rebuy these. If something happened to these, hopefully nothing will. Cause like I said, this was to commemorate, commemorate a big trip for me. And uh, I couldn't afford a Patek Phillip at the uh, mall in Hawaii. I couldn't afford a Rolex. So I got me some Maui gins. Oh, Maui gems is not gin, it's gem. Maui gems. But uh, I thought I'd do a quick review on these sunglasses, letting you see how they look on me. And uh, they cost uh, $249 uh, without tax. So it's going to be over $250. Uh, I got these in the uh, gift shop at the uh, hotel. I don't have to look up the name of the hotel or resort that I was at. It was an awesome hotel. Highly recommend it. Um, the hotel or resort, from a helicopter view, a sky view, it looks like a sea turtle, everything. But it was just an amazing experience. I'll put a few photos in this um, video of some of the pictures I took. And that's it. Um, these are Maui Jin Onshore. Uh, and I will... Um, talk to you later. My name is Satsu5 and I'm out.